I am really excited today to have as a guest, really a guest coach, member coach of the Alpha Zone, Kim Bulos, who is a former professional soccer player. She's really known for her self-made and determined attitude. She competed in the World Cup, the Olympic qualifying tournaments with the Haitian women's national team and spent almost a decade of experience playing with professional clubs in Sweden, Brazil, Haiti, and the good old USA. She has an international perspective of sports and soccer that is unparalleled. Uh, Kim now intertwines her expertise in athletic performance, mentorship, coaching, with an ever-expanding knowledge in what she describes as holistic women's health care to empower athletes, women, and coaches that she works with, both in their sport and in their lives. So with that being said, it is really a pleasure to introduce to you today, Ms. Kimberly Bulos. Kim, take it away. All right. Thank you, Don, for the introduction. Um, so as Don said, have a long career in athletics as a professional soccer player. What really started transitioning me from the coaching and playing world was when I got pregnant with my first child. I was recovering from my third ACL still trying to compete at the professional level and did not feel like there were the resources I needed to help me get back into the game. So I started diving really, really deep into the women's healthcare world um, and learned so much about the pelvic floor and the female body that blew my mind that I had never in all my years of playing at the quote unquote top level with top trainers had never even heard about. So I have now, I, I spent a good amount of time focusing really on the perinatal process. So working with elite athletes to prepare them for a more empowered childbirth experience and to help them recover their pelvic floors and their bodies back into the, to a position where they could compete again at a elite level of whatever their sport was. Um, what I ended up finding was I started having so many athletes and soccer players, especially who were coming to me saying like, do you work with people who aren't pregnant? I've never had a kid, but I, I've had these issues going on and I can't seem to find help. help. I either go to my sports performance coach who has no idea about my body as a female, or I go to a women's healthcare provider who has no idea what it takes to compete at an elite level in sport. Um, so I started really diving more and more into the pelvic floor female hormones and everything that is involved in competing as an athlete and think there's such a gap in sport with understanding bodies of half of our athletes out there. Um, so in my courses, two of my courses are geared towards working with either athletes or coaches, depending on where you fall with understanding how to incorporate that women's health care into your performance training module. So that can look from a physical standpoint, like dealing with hip issues, mobile, like hip mobility, knee issues, ankle issues, because when we're completely turned off from the main center point of our body and we don't even have any awareness there, we're not going to get the most out of our athletes. So our pelvis is so important for our force production our technical skills, like in soccer, if you want to do a move where you're popping a ball over your head, you're not going to be able to do that if you don't have full capabilities in your pelvic muscles. Um, so from that physical standpoint, that's huge. Um, from a mental standpoint, I think there is so much opportunity and untapped potential for women athletes by bringing more awareness and confidence into this main point of their bodies. So in our culture, I think that we unfortunately shame women from the time they go through puberty about their bodies. And so, so many of us live up here and don't wanna ever even bring awareness to this main point of our body. What I've found with working with athletes and, and with myself is that the more I've been able to bring awareness and tune into my entire body and not 
mentally tune out from this centerpiece, I've been able to stay grounded, more confident, um, and really use it now from every, anything I'm ever doing where I'm trying to perform. I actually bring my awareness down to that region of my body, breathe into it, and know that I, I can be more confident when I'm not shaming such an important part of me. Um, That's so interesting. Uh, you know, I bet you people who are watching this interview is saying, I thought she was just a soccer coach, <laughs> but far from it. And I think it's such a unique topic that needs to be dealt with. And I think that course you're going to be teaching related to that is going to be very popular. So continue. I'm sorry to interrupt, but go right ahead. No, not at all. Yeah, I, I do think it's I think it could be a game changer. It's something I wish that I had during my career. Um, I I look back on some injuries I had. Like I remember going to school my first year at South Carolina and having debilitating back pain that they could not figure out. And they sent me everywhere. And I look back and I had actually had an experience of sexual abuse right before it that I think was whole making me hold a lot of tension in my pelvic region. And that's not something that was ever talked about. No one asked me the important questions about that part of my body um, that could have solved the issue. And that's not just about, you know, having trauma. That's, that's physical issues that um, had, had somebody had more knowledge about my body as a female, I think I could have been back on the field quick not lost, not lost my position. Like that changed my entire college career because nobody knew the questions to ask. So, so, so um, essentially, if I'm not mistaken, you're going to be doing four courses. I thought there were four. So if there were, can you quickly just separate them out? So people will know. Of course. So I'm going to do four female athletes. Um, coaching about their pelvic floor and how they can improve their performance by bringing awareness and um, so physical and like mental awareness to their pelvic bowl region um, to clear blocks and improve on their physical capabilities. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to essentially gear that similar material, but towards coaches. So they understand how to coach female athletes. Um, mm -hmm. That is I think a challenge in a industry where it's mostly male dominated, I, I know I've worked with coaches before who tell me, well, how am I supposed to mention this to my female athletes? I'm going to like, I don't want to be inappropriate. So I, I work with them on the types of language they can use to make sure they're empowering their athletes and make sure they are setting them up with the right exercises and being in tune with their bodies, but with the language that's going to be appropriate, no matter what age they're working with. Um, and then I'll be working. Um, I have a course for helping players through major life transitions and in injuries. So you could think of it like life coaching for those transitional periods. So um, through my many ACL surgeries and have having children while still competing. Um, I really like to take athletes through those transitions, find the silver linings and find ways to actually improve, even though they might have, might not be able to physically compete in the game because there's so much you can do to get better. Even if you're sidelined for a period of time. Interesting. And the final one, and the final one, what is, is there a final one? There was a final one. I'm trying did to... We cover them all. Well, that's great if we did. Oh, uh, the, the final one, no. Final one is for if there are athletes who are in that um, stage of life where they are thinking about having children or pregnant, I work with them to, you. I, I bring together sports science and the women's health world to prepare their body and mind to have a more empowering childbirth experience and an easier recovery back to whatever they love to do. Um, and that that's actually can get really in depth. I don't think people understand how much you can do to train yourself for a better birth experience. And as athletes, I think we tend to go through pregnancy thinking like, whatever, you know, I'm, I'm tough. I'll, I'll work through this and I'm going to have a great birth experience, but 
athletes' bodies are very different from the general public, and they tend to have a lot of issues um, that I see uh, like across the board with almost every athlete I worked with have similar issues that can be rectified prenatally so that you reduce tearing and pelvic trauma or cesareans um, and really can give yourself the edge in both pregnancy and childbirth, but also in returning to the activities you love after. That's so, so interesting. Uh, I, I was so happy that, by the way, Kimberly is our newest coach on the Alpha Zone and um, such a unique subject that doesn't get addressed hardly at all. And I think you're going to bring so much to our team that it's really a pleasure having you with the Alpha Zone. On that note, uh, it's time to get going. Yeah, uh, let's do it. <laughs> Thank you, Don. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Thank you. You too.